Birbal was looking for a job and while wandering around he reached Akbar's palace. Akbar met Birbal and asked him, "What job can you do perfectly?" Birbal said, "I can solve any problem." Akbar did not believe him and said that Birbal would need to answer four of his puzzles and questions in each of them correctly to make him believe. Additionally, Akbar put forth a condition that in order to answer these questions, Birbal could only use paper and no other objects. Akbar also said that as a reward for answering all his four questions correctly, he would offer Birbal the position of minister in his kingdom. Birbal readily agreed to Akbar's condition. Let's see what the first puzzle is. Puzzle 1 Lines through paper folding. Akbar told Birbal that his first set of questions within the first puzzle would relate to lines. Can you create a straight line using this paper? asked Akbar. Birbal smiled and said, "Yes, sir." Birbal then took a piece of paper and folded it into two equal parts. Suppose I fold over any point P of one portion of this sheet of paper and hold it coincident with any point Q on the other portion like this while these points are held tightly together by the thumb and with the forefinger of one hand i can then crease the fold with the thumb and the forefinger of the other hand then if i just extend the crease in both directions like this I can form a straight line. Akbar asked Birbal how he could be so sure that the crease formed is a straight line. Birbal explained that from any point on the crease the distances to P and to Q are equal. Mathematically the point P is called the image of point Q. in a reflection in the line formed by the crease conversely q is the image of p in the same reflection and hence the crease is definitely a straight line but what if i gave you a point and asked you to form a straight line through it can you do that asked akbar that's easy too sir Imagine if this is the point. Now, if I carefully form a short crease that passes through that given point and extend the crease in both directions like this, we will get a straight line through a given point. Explained Birbal. How about a line perpendicular to a given straight line? asked akbar birbal first forms a straight line ab parallel to the edge of the paper as shown in the figure now birbal folds the sheet over so that a segment of the given line ab is folded over onto itself holding the lines together with the thumb and forefinger of one hand he then forms the crease repeating the same method he used to form a straight line before he called this line cd and said that the line cd is perpendicular to line ab the line ab is reflected onto itself by a reflection in the line formed by the crease cd and since in this particular case the given line ab intersects the line 
CD at an angle of 90 degrees, we can say that the line CD is perpendicular to the line AB. Akbar was impressed but wanted to test Birbal further and asked, How will you form a line perpendicular to a point on a given line? Birbal, using the same paper, folds the paper so that a segment of the given line AB is folded over onto itself to ensure that the crease passes through the given point P, creating a perpendicular line at a given point on the line. Akbar asked Birbal, Why do you say the fold through P is perpendicular to AB? Birbal explained that the line AB is reflected onto itself in a reflection in the line formed by the crease. The point P is its own image in this reflection. Since point P is its own image in the reflection, we can say there is a straight angle being formed by the line. Hence, the fold through P is perpendicular to AB. Let me also show you the perpendicular bisector of a given line segment, said Bebel. He folds the paper so that the end points of the given line AB are coincident. He then carefully forms a crease CD and says, If you locate any point on the line CD, it will be equidistant from A and B. And hence, we can say, that the line CD is the perpendicular bisector of line AB. Perpendicular lines seem simple. How will you form a line parallel to a given straight line? asked Akbar. Let me show you, said Birbal. He forms a line EF perpendicular to the given line AB like he had done before and then folds a line CD perpendicular to EF. Since the line AB is perpendicular to line EF, and the line CD is also perpendicular to the line EF, we can say that the lines AB and CD are parallel to each other, explained Birbal. I am quite impressed with your intellect, Birbal. But I hope you are able to answer my remaining questions too, if you wish to get the reward I have for you. Come back tomorrow and I shall ask you my second question. Stay tuned to know what Akbar's next question to Birbal was and if he was able to answer it correctly.